hardly believe that British summertime is only 10 days away because the weather, a distinctly wintry feel about it, not only for today, but throughout the week. We've got severe weather again in central and southern Scotland. Heavy snow, believe it or not, hazardous driving conditions, blizzard-like conditions, accompanied by a stiff southerly wind. It's really going to be quite treacherous on those roads for the next few hours. Now, that snow will descend further south into the north of England, so stay tuned to this weather forecast. I'll come on to that in just a moment. Fairly overcast in the north of England and the Midlands this afternoon, and cold, but for East Anglia and the southeastern corner, there will be some breaks in the cloud and glimpses of sunshine from time to time, but still the temperature's struggling, particularly for this time of year. As we head a little bit further south and west into the west country, one or two showers, and some of these showers with sleet and snow mixed in there as well, and showery rain to the west of Wales, sleet and snow to higher ground here, but a better afternoon in Northern Ireland, the showers tending to ease off, and a mild feel here with seven degrees. Now we keep the rain into the west overnight tonight, and freezing conditions so potentially some freezing rain but more significantly the snow in Scotland drifts further south and east into the north of England it's going to be quite treacherous across the Trans Pennine routes first thing in the morning even once the snow clears very very icy conditions on those roads so snow to the east of the Pennines Lincolnshire Wolds down into the Midlands but I think for East Anglia the southeast corner it'll start off quite quiet cold but quiet but the rain is on its way there'll be one or two showers along the M4 corridor and generally for Bristol and all also some showery rain into the southwest first thing in the morning, but a slightly quieter start, I think, for Wales. Lighter winds are not too bad here. One or two spots of rain around, and the same too for Northern Ireland. And it will certainly be rain rather than snow for much of Western Scotland first thing tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at Tuesday's weather in a little more detail. And that band of rain and the sleet and snow, well, that's going to push south and east. And as it does so, I think it's really going to turn primarily to rain into East Anglia and the southeastern corner. So some patchy rain around, generally a quieter, calmer day for tomorrow. And I think the real difference is lighter winds. So despite temperatures only saying three or six degrees, it might feel a little bit better. The exception, double figures. For Northern Ireland. Now as we move into Wednesday there'll be some sleet and snow showers around to the north and east again and some breaks in the cloud for central and southeastern areas but by Thursday we drag in an easterly wind and that's going to push in plenty of snow showers for eastern Britain. Winter's not over yet.